now let's take a look how to calibrate our 15 pound ball now let's Hello there everybody, welcome back to another tech tip fishing video. Today is going to be a video about how to repair, replace, do some maintenance, and a little insight on what our Scotty depth power looks like on the brake unit. Our problem right now to fix is our brake handle. You see that? I broke that brake handle. Not because of fishing, I actually hit one of my carport posts. I was a little hugging it a little too tight, so that was my bad. Today our replacement part is the SC01122W. It's a $12.99 unit. It's a Scotty Depth Power Brake Kit Upgrade. So what does that come with? That comes with a brake handle with three brake pads, okay? Those three brake pads go in the specific holes in these gridded openings right there. That's where that goes. And before you get started on your project, take a little bit of a um, sandpaper. In this case, I'm using a 240 grit. Just give it a scuff, okay? Do a light scuff. Make sure that it's not shiny. If you're doing some maintenance or putting a new one in i just like to do that myself that goes in there and this you know also comes with a tiny spring let's go ahead and get started open up that tab lift up the cowling put a little bit of pressure on one side to get these tabs away from the holders right there at the same time keep this nearby to place all your bits and bobs right there okay a couple of tools that you will need literally just a couple is the phillips screwdriver right here and a crescent wrench or a 9 16 wrench up next we are going to remove our emergency brake handle put that in the bin nice and handy at the same time we're going to be undoing these two screws on this tensioning wheel okay take your phillips right there loosen our tensioning wheel you don't have to undo it but you do have to go lefty loosey on this one pull that back there you go Take the belt ever so carefully around and over the motor. Put that in your trusty tray. Now up next, we're gonna be taking off our top hand, top nut right here. And this is where your wrench comes in handy, right here. Take a turn it around until you get it off, okay? Well designed unit right here. You can, sit, you can tell that they thought about uh, that you can free wheel this. Okay, I like that. So here's a nut, that nylock nut. This is actually your brake adjust. So what it is, is a nut with some nylon, kind of like a nylon insert right there to prevent it from being undone. So put that in your bin right there. Up next, we're gonna be taking off this whole top handle. You can alternatively pick this up and give this a clean as well, which I've already done with some brake clean, okay? But it's not necessary. Don't forget that there's also a washer as well right there. So take this over conveniently they have a spigot right here perfect to hold our unit right there okay so this would be a good time for you to clean your brake plate as you guys can see there's a brake plate underneath just take some brake clean and give it a good wipe okay put that right there now we're going to be unveiling our issue right here our brake handle is broken but our pads are still good ideally as well if you're maintenance doing some maintenance on it Take your brake pads, okay? Scuff it up on that sandpaper, right there. And that's it as well, scuff it up one side, on both sides, right? So the idea there is to make sure that you have one good side every time. So every time you, let's say you're on the water, you're finding that uh, you wanna, it's getting a little bit slippery, you can flip it over and you're ready to go again. So now onto the next issue right here. We're gonna pop this up, put this to the side, okay? And now you will reveal that spring okay notice the opening on that spring notice it's seated this way and it's on top of this wheel that's kind of have a cog tooth to it you don't have to take that out but you can give it a clean if you'd like this is going to be the new spring i've already replaced it so i've already put it in there now we're going to go put our brake handle back on right there so notice that if you flip this over put your hand on the brake so they don't you don't lose them there's a little notch right there you see that that's where that spring goes so flip it back upside down put it over the hole Keep an eye on that notch at the back. Make sure that sits right on the spring handle that way. And then center your brake handle. If you put a little bit of pressure here, you'll know that you're doing it right. When you pull it back and the brake wants to go back to the brake setting. So when you, when you pull it back, you're releasing the brake. You're putting it forward 
that's actually when brake is applied. Up next is our brake plate. So now our brake plate will be right here. Put your hand on the handle, just like that. And then we're gonna put our spool on top, just like that. And at the same time, if you've done so already, you can put that plate back in and then put your counter in. Okay, just, just for demonstration, don't forget that washer right there. And put your nylock back in. So this procedure is gonna probably gonna take you guys five, five to ten minutes, depends how efficient you are. Okay, but for instruction's sake, we're gonna take a little bit of our time. So take our 916 wrench, give it a turn. Okay, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is bottom that out. So I'm sure you I'm gonna show you guys how to calibrate as well, running a 15 pound ball. Okay, so we're gonna bottom that out. Okay, so you don't want to overdo it too tightly. What you want to do is get it tight enough so it will kind of retract on its own. That'll be your starting point. Okay, so tighten, loosen it up a bit. There you go. So that's where you want to be, just like that. Okay, now we're going to put our nut back in. And then we're going to put our belt. Inspect your belt for where or change it every season up to you I always keep a spare in the boat now we're gonna take our belt put it over motor pulley and then we're gonna guide it through the tensioning wheel and put our toothed belt on the main spool up next we're gonna take our Phillips right here okay now we're gonna push in our tensioning wheel firmly just make sure you don't over tighten it so you don't strip the screws Okay, here we go. This shouldn't take more than five to ten minutes, guys. Okay, there you go. Now we're good. Everything's attached. Everything's kind of retracting by itself. Now let's put our handle, our emergency brake handle, back in there. Attach it to this little seat right there. Put it back on our pin. So now I've attached my 15 pound ball to our downrigger line. Let's take a look if it holds the weight. Nope. It looks a little light, as you guys can see. Uh, conveniently, I've also put down a mat right there to prevent me smashing it from smashing into the ground. So as you guys can see, it's a little bit loose. So what we're gonna do is take the thing back off, and we're gonna give it about a three-quarter turn. Okay, so quarter, half, three-quarter. Okay, and then we're gonna put our handle back in just like so. Now we're gonna put our emergency emergency handle back in. Just like that. Now we're gonna test our unit again. There you go. As you guys can see, it is holding the weight. And as well, we're gonna go see how much pull it can handle. Okay, it's a little tight. So we're gonna give it maybe an eighth of a turn. So maybe just like that, okay? That might be enough, mind you. Now that you're familiar with this, you'll be able to do this on the fly in case you have some currents that you're battling on the ocean. You can now just take off the cowling, remove this handle, and then kind of tighten or loosen that to your needs. Okay, let's go ahead and try it again. Oh, it's holding your unit. Very good. Now let's see how much pull it can handle. Okay, it's a little bit... It's a little bit tight, but not overly tight. But I think that's gonna be our starting point and then we're gonna be doing a little bit of micro adjust out in the ocean. So if you're happy with that, go ahead and also adjust your zero your counter. Our counter is saying, let's take a look. Right now it's saying zero and look at my ball. It's about two feet from my gunnel, which is about where the water line is. So that's how I like to set my zeros. Okay, so if you're happy with that, go ahead and put this column back on. Put one side in first then pry it over to the side and close the lid close that latch and now you're ready to go so one thing that you're gonna need uh, on the water make sure you got a wrench so you can adjust it if you need to at the same time I'd like to suggest you guys to look in the description section I'm gonna leave a link below for this part number SCO1122W pick this up from Harbor Chandler it's called the Scotty Depth Power Brake Upgrade Kit. There you guys have it. The job is done. It took minimal tools and 
I hope this video has helped you out. If it did, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Don't forget to check out my other videos for more helpful videos and check out my fishing adventures. Thanks for watching, tight lines, and happy fishing.